Hello gorgeous people, how are you? Today we are talking about, I'm just going to talk in general, I want to talk about the video that I made uh, the other day about the venom uh, and just about a few comments that I've had, okay? But I want to talk about other stuff too. So, I'll see you on the other side. So I did this video, yeah, if you saw it, about me talking about the, the, the Venom Man and mm, casting my doubts on the authenticity of that. So I had a few comments saying, uh, Gordon, maybe you should rethink that. Maybe that wasn't very fair, what you said. Um, you know, mm, this guy does great interviews. He has done for a long time. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And hey, I take that on board. I, w I wasn't saying that it wasn't true. What I was saying was, it made me feel uncomfortable. It made me f uh, see red flags flying, okay? But what I thought I would do is, I thought, well, let, let's see what the emissaries have to say on this. What, what, what did they think about that? And they give me some great advice, as they always do. What they said was this, they said, that the thing is, Gordon, lots and lots of people are waking up at the moment. Lots and lots of people are asleep and who are just ready to wake up. Some people need slick. Some people need polished, professional for them to actually listen. And that makes sense because obviously they've been listening to the television for God knows how long and believing everything. And so when they get something that's very similar to that, it's it's a natural, it's a nice progression for them. Yeah. Now, obviously, it makes sense to me when I watch something that's produced like a television, my spider senses are tingling, thinking, <laughs> where's the money come from for this? Who's sponsoring this? Yeah because that's basically how the world's been tricked. So what they were saying was that some people need that. But the question that they posed was this. The question is, where are you now? And what do you need to ingest? This is the question. Where are you now? And what is it, what is it that you need to ingest to take you to the next level? You see, what they were saying was this. There are so many different levels of people, at, you know, different levels of awakening, different levels of being asleep too. And there are so many beings that are working at, on so many levels to produce this great awakening that many times we can look at something and think that it's bad, think that it's uh, of the dark side. And it's actually not. It's just something that's been worked on to resonate with the people at their level. Does that make sense? So everything that's coming out will resonate with people who are at that level of resonation. You see, when we see something dark, it doesn't resonate with us anymore because we're moving out of that. And so it doesn't make sense anymore to watch those things. It doesn't, it, it doesn't feel right. So I think what we've got to do, and this is great advice, I think, from the emissaries. What we've got to do is this. Because something doesn't resonate with us doesn't mean that it's bad. Okay? We mustn't make a judgment on it. And if I did make a judgment, I'm sorry about that. But it wasn't so much a judgment. It was, hang on a minute. Where I am now, that does not resonate with me whatsoever. It doesn't interest me. And I could see the possible... Um, folly of people going down there and shouting their mouth off about that and then it coming out that it was a load of crap and blah 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 you know and, and credibility is thin on the ground at the moment you know and they're always looking to try and discredit us you know so you know there's a an expression one man's medicine is another man's poison and i think that's where we are so what we our job is to start to use our discernment and to watch the things that are resonating for us because they are the things that are going to take us higher, that are going to allow us to keep moving. 
Okay, so that's very important. So if something isn't resonating with you, you just turn it off. You just turn it off. But understand that it could be resonating for a lot of people. That venom thing could wake up a ton of people. A ton of people. You know, take them to the next stage. It doesn't really matter. How many things have you watched over the years that now you look back and think, well, yeah, I don't really believe that. But you watch them because, wow, at the time, you know, it's like, wow. I mean, even to this day. So I I'm, I'm, feel I'm resonating in this kind of frequency. Sometimes I get stuff and I'm, I'm sucking on a lemon thing and, oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's too way out for me. But it's too way out for me. But, but for other people, maybe that's perfect. Maybe they're in a different place and in, in a more advanced state. Who knows? I don't know. So that's our job is just to go with what resonates with us. And that's the key. I remember years ago, I had a conversation with my aunt and she, I, I just turned off the TV. I think it was, I turned it off for about three or four years. And I, you know, once you detox from the TV, then, then you, you automatically wake up. You just can't not wake up. Um, and so I was saying to her, well, I turned, I've turned the TV off. I, I will not watch the news. And she said, why? And I said, because the news is evil. It's bad. And it is not representative of what's happening in the world. It tells lies and it distorts and exaggerates. And she said, yeah, but you've got to be informed. You've got to keep yourself informed. And I said, why? She said, because... When you're informed, then you know what's happening in the world and you can take action. And I said, okay, so tell me, what action have you taken recently uh, based on what you saw on the news? What have you done to put that right? And she said, well, well, well I haven't done anything like to put it right, but I know and I can vote and stuff like that. I said, look, you know, did you want, um, did you want uh, the UK to go into Iraq? Were you in favor of that when it happened? And she said, no, I wasn't. I said, we still went though, didn't we? You know, and I recall that something like a million people went out into the streets to protest about it. We still went. I said, so what do you think, by you knowing all of the bad stuff that's happening and whether it really is true or not, by you knowing all of the bad stuff, what of what benefit is that to the bad stuff that's happening? And she said, well, I'm going to have to think about that because I haven't got an answer, but I know that there's an answer. Okay. Uh, Ten years later, she has not come back with an answer. Why? Because there's no answer to it. So it's the same principle with all of the stuff that's coming our way. The question, and it was an interesting one about a, a guru who's, who's, um, a uh, follower came up and said, oh, I've got to tell you something. He said, before you tell me, let me ask you a couple of questions. Is it going to make me feel better? And he said, uh, no. He said, is it true? And he said, uh, I think so. He said, and is it funny? And he said, no, it's not funny. He said, so I would prefer you didn't tell me. Okay, so that was his criteria. You know, is it going to help me? Is it going to make me feel better? Is it true and is it funny? So if it can, if if the information that you're watching fits into that criteria, watch it. But if it doesn't, if it's going to make you feel bad, if it's you know very possible that it's not true, and if it's not funny, then probably it's not worth watching. You know, we we're in a place. What have we got to do? We have to start manifesting what we want. How do we manifest what we want? Well, it's easy. There's an expression, fake it till you make it. This is where we have to be. We have to fake being in the place that we want to be, even when we know we're not in that place. How do you fake it? You think about it, you get excited about it, you watch stuff that tells you about it, you listen to people who talk about it, you feel good about it. That's the faking. There's nothing wrong with faking when you do it and you get excited about it because that's what actually creates it. That's what brings it about. That's why people say fake it till you make it because it's the faking that brings about the making. Okay? So that's what we need to do. When I'm, when I'm doing hypnosis, 
I say to people this, there's nothing that you need to do, okay? And they're just about to embark on something really big in this hypnotic process, but I said, there's nothing that you need to do. And this is kind of the message. All of the stuff that's going on there, all of that information that's being passed around between them, let it happen. There's nothing that you need to do except focus on what you want. Watch what you like. Watch what makes you feel better. Yeah? And let them pass around the stuff that they need to pass around. I've watched some horrific stuff in the past. Stuff that's made me cry. I won't watch it now. Don't need to. What for? What for? I want to be happy. I want to smile. I want to get excited about the golden age that's just about here. It's here, but hey, it's like, wah, it's about to explode. Get excited about that. Get excited. Why not? And let them deal with their stuff. We've been through that. We don't need to keep walking back through those footsteps again. We don't need to. That's their business. We're heading for, for nicer climbs. So have a beautiful day. I'll see you later on. Bye-bye. I love you all.